<coughs> Excellent start to the stream, though. My throat is being nice and friendly today. Expect plenty of coughing and really annoying noises and clearings of the throat right now. So, last time, which was the first stream playing this game, we got to the entrance of Jolly Roger's Lagoon after collecting 30 jiggies. Today we're gonna do a couple more stages, hopefully. Should be at least a two hour stream. That should be enough time to make some decent progress. Let's swipe that in and let's get started. <coughs> yep, figured. Okay, everything's set up and good to go. <clears throat> this time for real. Let's do this. And that's way too loud, let me turn my audio down. That's better. Do let me know if the audio balance is not acceptable. I am using a brand new microphone, which was very generously purchased for me. By someone who I like quite a lot. So, hopefully my voice doesn't sound absolutely terrible. I do still have the noise reduction filter enabled from the previous microphone. Hopefully that sounds acceptable. Any, any feedback on the voice quality and the audio balance is welcome. And now I'll try to actually pay some amount of attention to what I'm doing. In no particular order. That's the thing with this game is I pretty much know where everything is, but I don't really have an order for everything like I do with Banjo-Kazooie, so we just kind of wing stuff until we get things. I'm gonna start with some Kazooie action. Let's grab these over here. And then we have a move over here. And greetings, good sir. How are you today? So many collectibles, which I just missed like three times. Because you eat, please. Now she's not completely useless while rolling solo, unlike him. Wrecked. Again. Let's grab some more of them doubloons. Okay, now what do we want to do? Is that everything we need Kazooie for? Probably. Except for hatching the egg, which we can't do yet. So... I guess we'll use this first. I am indeed, it is a blue yeti. It seems to be pretty OP, although I haven't bothered, uh, like I haven't invested any amount of time into experimenting with it yet. I just set it to the mode which it recommends for streaming and such, the, the forwards one, to hopefully not pick up as much of the annoying keyboard and fan and so on. And the noise reduction filter is still applied, it's like minus 30 decibels uh, from whatever the, the previous microphone used, so it's probably not quite optimized for this mic yet, but we'll deal with it. And also leaning back in the chair and being comfortable for a change. So, if it's noticeable, if it's a noticeable difference, that's very good. As I said, if there's anything wrong with the balance, then let me know because this would be the stream where that occurs. And I have really tested it. Hey, look, we're in Grunty Industries. Sneaky, sneaky. 
some double shadow action. Attention to detail is always appreciated. I like the dark and dingy interior remix or version of the Grunty Industries music. That black screen was slightly concerning. I already know that's a Minjo, so you can just kind of go away. That's all we needed to do here. And there's some of the balloons down here. If Kazooie, he would be so kind as to dive. No, oh, I guess I should talk to these guys just for the hell of it. There we go. That achieves nothing for me. Let's just get this over with, I guess. It's not exactly expensive. And as we now know, he does indeed get that fine new flying machine. He has a fine flying machine of my own. Kind of. I think I already have one orange Shinjo, so this should be an extra jiggy. Nice. I didn't just miss one there then, did I? I thought there was five, but apparently not. This music's pretty awesome. That Mumbo's job is very short and sweet here, so we could always do that. But first, let's go to Porno's Emporium. Which sounds no different to porno in, in, in my accent, and indeed many accents from around here. Porn equals porn. Hi. Two, one, one, two. Apparently he doesn't open this cash register very often. There's that red tilde photo, and that question at the end. And there's the grunty doll from the furnace fun. Fun times. All of the old junk. Every last piece. So yeah, let's get Mumbo's stuff over and done with. I'm just stealing his doubloon hood. I'm having a quick check out here, though I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do right now. We know we can't hatch the egg, and I'm like 99% sure there's no doubloons, but no CD mandates that I check. Indeed. My memory is correct. So with that waste of time over and done with, let's get back on track.
That is one of the more appealing rhymes. Such passive aggression at Kazooie. It is the get good rhyme. Strictly speaking, this mumbo pad here is optional even if you want 100% completion because it's just a convenience and makes Atlantis a lot easier, but if you're extremely quick, there's no reason why you can't just do it anyway without running out of air. You'll just have to warp out and in frequently. Ain't nobody got time for that though. realize that the camera zooming sound is very similar to my scene transition. <laughs> Maybe. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Let's not accidentally go back to the beach. And now we should be able to afford the Cheeto page. Let's finish up with our pawn. Or something. Yes, that kind of pawn. <laughs> Excuse me. That came from nowhere. I tried to move away. The internet's all about that pawn. After we've done jollies, I'm pretty sure we've done everything that we can do other than Atlantis. Let's do this as well. The back door into Atlantis. Probably won't be using this one first. So this guy sells ginger beer and nothing else, which happens to be what we're drinking right now. In terms of drinks at least, he sells semen surprise and salty dumplings because, you know, railway. I could have blown that door off with a grenade egg and saved myself two doubloons, but I already have all of them except for the ones from Black Eye, so... No need to be a prick. Thank you. He's not wrong, he was in this game at some point. Well, that's everything with the doubloons finished. And I believe everything on dry land finished, other than helping the kids, but we can't do that for like another million years. So let's head down into Atlantis. Ice exit the ready. This is a chill stream after all. Mm -hmm. 
this entire section is pretty much going to be in first person because it's so much better. Oh, there you are. I was unable to find the third one for some reason. That's not even notes, so I don't care. Okay, there's the UFO, so we want to go this way. Just heading to Atlantis Main first, because we can get the Talon Torpedo and use that for many things. Incidentally, it's never mentioned anywhere, but you can toggle the crosshair on and off with C down while in first person, if you don't require it at the time. There's the treble cliff. Here's a very well hidden empty honeycomb piece. That should be pretty much the last of the notes. So let's start with this and get the move. Always beneficial to get all the moves as early as possible, of course. from the electric eels of doom. And there he goes. Question is, where should we go next? That's the seaweed sanctum over there. Then we have this big place. I guess we'll go in here. I don't actually think there's anything we can do in here. Yet. But we have to check. Nothing over there. That's a Minjo. And even knowing this, I'm gonna double check because I'm a moron. Yo. And then we need Clyde or Clockwork Kazooie for that thing up there, so we're done here. Moving on. Swiftly. Apparently we've already dropped three seconds worth of frames, that sounds pretty bad. Somehow I missed that. Give Jiggy. Let's see what random code we have above the door this time. for the silence there. That was my concentration silence. Let's do a full circle because we get lost easily in this place. I think this is one of people's least favorite parts. It doesn't come close to the second Canary Mary, of course, but it's considered challenging. I like how I'm already prepping my excuses.
we're just gonna spam left and right and hope for the best. Because we get an angle where we can see them from every direction at once, we're probably fine. They do also make a sound when they pop out in stereo, but I'm talking over it so it's not very helpful right now. In fact, the sound would be in surround if I had it. I don't know why they're not appearing from above me, but that's the one that's concerning me right now because I don't get much time to react to the ones that come from there. I think that's one dead opposite. That's worrying because I thought I could see them from every direction. Oh, it's finished. I thought there were still loads to go. Cool. Can't complain. You take your Game Boy camera and print them photos. Here's the swimming trunks of a champion. And the camera of a champion. And obviously that snorkel is really useful to, to people who are underwater. And pigs who are underwater. little stock up there. Thank you, that did go better than expected. Quick save state. In the interests of crash prevention, of course. So, let's quickly go back through here. Now that we have the move capable of entering the UFO, before we forget. UFO, of course, being one of those jiggies, which is a requirement to get several others. I am not in a good position for this. Are we doing this? Please. If at first it doesn't work, try it again until it does with no differences whatsoever. That usually doesn't happen to me, that was uh, unfortunate. Although, I guess I don't normally approach from that side. I would normally just come back to this later, but this time I'm trying to be more systematic and clear areas one by one. It remains to be seen whether that's going to be a good idea. which way he came in from. Them engine stalling sounds. Now let's get back to Atlantis and continue where we left off. Oh, 
Okay, so... Let's, uh... Grab a few of the wrong type of egg. And then I guess we'll go through the Seaweed Sanctum, activate the warp on the other side, and then warp back and continue, just because there's a Jinjo in here. For a second I thought I had not entered the Seaweed Sanctum. I was about to be very confused. Just get on with it. Pretend that didn't happen. There's not the right way. I could probably make that jump. But let's just not. That's not even a dangerous one. That's a mean one. It would have been hilarious if that one was a ninja. Hard to reach place, no room for it to move around. Unexpected out of ten. We're getting a little low on ice, but we still have plenty considering we've already got the egg sheet. You know what, I guess since we're here we can do it now. I wasn't going to though. slightly better angle here. And it went the other way. The teeth have now been surgically removed. Let us enter. There's Jolly's partner, who seems rather concerned with her appearance. I don't think it's ever explicitly stated, since they only ever use the word partner, but uh, for various reasons people do seem to assume that they are gay, yes. Or rather, at least Jolly is gay. This is not one of the places with uh, anything of interest in those bubbly, invisible fish things. Transparent fish, rather. So, over here. Two ways to go, I'm pretty sure this is the one that goes to the wigwam, so let's do this first. There's only one thing that the submarine is mandatory for, which is the minigame, but we can use it for the boss too to make it easier. It should also be one of those fish things here. Not 
that one. Unless the stuff in these fish is random, which apparently it is. Unless I'm just being blind. Ha, huh, that's interesting. Fair enough. I'm gonna keep my eye out. I don't think I've ever seen the, the Jiggy being the one in Atlantis main before, actually, come to think of it. I may have just learned something new. That is fascinating. It sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. Pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to be going right now. Sonic Pink Attack says no to you, Mr. Octopus. I did not go the right way. Excellent. That was a bit awkward. One would think I hadn't played this before or something. That's the wigwam. Wait then. Am I being an idiot? Yes, I am being an idiot. Oh. Thanks for that. so good. We can activate this warp for later. I like how you still have your shadow in first person. There's three black ones in a row, I think. They are the largest family. Nice to get them out of the way so we get jiggies more frequently later. Not, not that it makes a difference, of course, but it feels like it does. This is where we need our submarine for. There's the empty honeycomb. go and do the Jones after the minigame. No. I think we know the core scheme by now. Yeah, it's like one of the few times where you can't. Not really worth even bothering with the red ones. I know, right? Who doesn't know that? Whoops. 
Can't skip this apparently. Find the jiggy. No. There's that done. So we'll do the locker and then we'll transform back, walk back here, get the empty honeycomb piece from the fish, and then come up with something else to do that makes sense. We do need to remember to go back and see Jolly again. don't actually know what my health is, but I'm going to assume I'm okay. If I came in here with a horrible amount of health, that's entirely my fault. We don't need to worry about ammo, though. It's a shame the Sonic Ping doesn't offer any extra advantages. Oh, the boy was on the other side. Constantly be changing sides. Makes plenty of time. No, oh, I thought he was going to fire them. So, it's not that one. So he's going to turn to face me now and shoot at me. Let me go this way. Keep moving until he stops shooting. You blow him up with that E for everyone board. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Very visible moves going on here. Can we, can we not miss every shot? Thank you. get to, shall we say, poke him in the eye a few times. My health is fine, I can just tank this. Somehow these are not working. trapped in a bubble given that I can't fire right now. There we go. And he dead. He tried his best to mind his own business, but his miracle never happened. submarine. Jam jars. Incidentally, submarines don't work too well on land. Thank you for that knowledge. I think he should just let you teleport there anyway and die horribly. Stuck there for all of eternity.
let's dive into the obviously magical water that is not combining with the regular water. said we were gonna walk back to the locker's cabin to get the empty honeycomb. But before that we'll go and talk to Jolly. We'll try to remember what the hell we're doing. Lack of music is an emulator bug here. Pretty sure that doesn't happen on the N64. But it is jiggy number eight so far. It has already been forty minutes though, apparently. It's just not meant to be. So there should still be one of those somewhere with a Cheeto page. Oh hey, it's Kieran. Hello there. How are you? That's like the 20th time I've done that in a row. Um, right, so we activated this with the sub and then didn't go back yet, so we'll do that. We'll try and keep things uh, as simple as possible, I guess. There's not actually much to do here, but we do need to go through this thing to the mines. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. Depending on your definition of everywhere. first person makes everything infinitely easier for me. Well, that was the last brown one, sweet. You'll notice there's a little egg nest there, because if you just ran out of ice eggs you're now able to get back, because rare and nice. So the only thing we're missing from Glitter Gulch Mine now is the Jiggy, which we need the Springy Step Shoes for. Hello Clockwork, Kazooie. Their level design is next level. What now? Um... Let's go to the big fish cabin and go backwards from there, or in fact, let's not do that. Let's go to the town centre and go in Jelly's back door. Yes, that back door. If the next level is well designed, that is next level, next level design, yes. Didn't need those. Oh, I guess I needed a few red feathers. My, my OCD dictates that I must be full on feathers at all times. And all other items. Having only 38 grenade eggs is killing me right now. Okay, it's not that bad, but still. Thank you very much indeed. It has been an extremely sugar-filled day so far. Uh. 
just so you know, the uptime command is broken, or at least it was last time I tried it, so... I haven't fixed it yet, but I did add some error handling to figure out what the problem is, so if you try the uptime command, you'll probably just see a hilarious error message. But at least then I'll have an idea what's going wrong. I'm pretty sure it's just their API, though. Excuses. At the very least, it shouldn't crash anymore when somebody tries it. Also, you will find that these streams in general are extremely full of puns. Some, some better than others. Here's some more eggs in case we need them. These eggs are always ice eggs. They don't even change by the looks of it. Surprisingly nice of them. Surprisingly ice of them. I am a rather large fan of Banjo-Kazooie and Tui and also GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, yes, you could say that. I've never finished DK64, but that's because I never owned it. I did borrow it from someone a while back, but never finished it. And I also enjoy Conker's Bad Fur Day. To an extent. No Grand Care Cup music, though. Right, I got the Cheeto Page out of that fish. What am I even missing now? I can't even do much more here now, can I? Let's see. What's that last Cheeto page? Didn't I get the one in the fish? Oh right, yeah, of course, I can't get the, the Cheeto page yet. So the Cheeto page is the one in the swimming baths which I need Glide for. I need Glide for Jiggy 8. Jiggy 9 is the swimming pool. And watch Jiggy 10. Probably something else I can't get, right? Maybe we should just assume it is. I got the one in the fish. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll move on while we think about that. Now that we have the talent torpedo, there's plenty of other stuff we can do. And this leads back into Atlantis, doesn't it? Yeah. As long as I didn't just randomly forget to pick it up. Pretty sure seven is as good as I can do right now. Yeah, exactly once in Banjo Kazooie. I enjoy the way it makes the use of how all the levels are very intricately intertwined, though. I'm like 99% certain that 7 is the correct total right now, but because I can't think of the rest, it's annoying me. I should have enough to open this now so I can do it from here and save some time. Just finished level 4 and now going to open level 7. That's cool.
Hailfire Peaks is three hard five me. Good job we're not going there anytime soon. There are a couple of things we need to do with our new moves before we move on. Objects and items totals here. Okay, so one more stage and we'll have enough for a new cheat and a new uh, honeycomb. But we're still gonna go back to Spiral Mountain for this Jinjo before we forget. And then we're gonna go and use the ice key. And then I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything anywhere else. I do enjoy getting stuff done at the earliest opportunity. I did my one and only Jinjo, what more do you want? To be honest, I think it's quicker to walk to the crushing shed and then go down into the mine entry than it is to use these, but we're doing this anyway. It's force of habit at this point. say I've ever attempted a mumbo token to be honest. It's a shame there aren't any in this game right so I can he can boke them along. I did a toad impression in the previous stream. <laughs> Feel free to go and look that up. Pretty sure it's not time stumped anywhere. But the chat is included in the stream, so you're looking for the part where one of the lines from the opening of Sunshine was mentioned. Like, what's this Iggy paint like goop? In all caps. Or something. Now I'm gonna hand in the Mega Globo just so that we can say we've done it. I'll probably transform, but then I'm probably gonna transform back again because I don't want the infinite fire eggs and I'm not a huge fan of the dragon sound. And I think regular Kazooie looks better anyway, so we'll consider it a self-imposed challenge to not use the dragon or something. Related optional stuff is complete, except for hatching Heggie's third egg. Which we'll be able to do after the next stage. Oh yeah, actually that's it. The, the third Jiggy from the Lagoon that I forgot to mention was hatching the egg, so seven was in fact the correct total. 
Although, having said that, I've now forgotten what the other two were, but that's cool. It's heating the pool and the one that we need glide for. See, I know what I'm talking about sometimes. I wonder what Mumbo would be able to do if he had a Mega Global. Okay, there's our Dragon experience complete for the game. That was well worth my time. And since we're here. Once we're through here, we'll get Clockwork Kazooie's and then we can cheese like half of the game or something. But I'll do my best to not abuse it too much. Regal Dash is from one of the Heggy Eggs. One of the two stop and swap eggs. see which potion we get this time. The first one was red, unfortunately. It's the most annoying one. Good to get it out the way. I somehow fucked that up. I didn't even pay any attention, I just assumed that it was always the one on the right for the first one. But... He's still not very good at aiming. But yeah, here it's just the last one to move. Which makes sense when you think about it. shards of broken glass of a microscopic size, never to be removed. Sounds delicious. Twenty clockwork zoos. That's pretty good. Now we can get the last of the notes from here, so we have a nice round total. That makes me very happy. Just abandon the ninja. There's all the notes from the Isle of Hugs. Nice. So we can go back to Jolly Rogers Lagoon once we have Hatch. And we can go back to Glitter Gulch Mine once we have the Springy Step Shoes. Both of which are in this stage. So I guess I'll just stay in here and do as much as I can and try to remember to do that afterwards because it's not that many things on my list, let's be honest. Thank you. 
Who mentioned a well designed level? That wasn't me, was it? Maybe. Yes, that was quite entertaining. Whoops. So wasteful. We do still need to open the train station before we come back here. This is not the way I should be going first, realistically. Let's go the other way. Again, now that we're at this point, I have no route mapped out in my head in the slightest, because it's not as simple as Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm just gonna go until we get stuff. Explore randomly until we have all of the things in our possession. Pretend it was all exactly as planned. Things did all go the shape of the pair for him. Use of that new move. I think that might be our last yellow Jinjo, so another Jiggy for us. My memory is mistaken. That is a shame. Now, unfortunately, to do everything with Mumbo, I will have to wait until after I've already done the mini T Rex stuff, otherwise, I'll have to use Mumbo more than once to shrink the wigwam again. And I can't be bothered with that. But we can activate the warp pad to conveniences later. I can keep on top of what I'm doing. Nice that we're still finding occasional uses for the wading roots. I guess we can try that at some point. So... The treble clef's just over there, so I'll get that next. I was gonna go up the waterfall, but... I'll do that in a minute. Collecting these does feel good. Or maybe that's just me. The Daddy T-Rex doesn't actually have much to do here either. It's just, what, scare the guy and press a switch down. So we'll we'll ascend the mountain vertically uh, after doing everything we can on the ground to keep it simple. So let's loop back around to the start and then go up the waterfall. Hey, there's the last jello one. That's pretty cool. There was no Jinjo saying required.
probably could have finished this with the previous Clockwork Kazooie, but I'll just spawn at you one in case I screw up. Because I have no idea how to get to this guy. So I'm just gonna try stuff until it works. Okay, and a brief detour in here to do some bill drilling, I think. That was weird. So let's grab this. Don't want to talk to that dinosaur because I'll be there all day. Now Mumbo can do all of his stuff in one go, after we uh, do the baby T-Rex stuff, which involves collecting a Cheeto page and the raw code. So they have two things to do each. I guess I prefer the original, but I just, like, the, the deeper voice is really jarring at first, but you kind of stop noticing it after a few stages. Talent rot is pretty good. Would have been a disaster if that had changed. And as soon as we get up here, we actually have all three empty honeycombs from this place already. Yeah, apparently coming along to the talent rot sound is something that some people find possible. If putting the tree up and nothing else counts as decorating, then yes, we have. If only because I wanted to buy a load of presents early and I needed somewhere to put them. It's the first and pretty much only time you have to dodge these things without having Kazooie. Day is on the first, we usually decide that that's a pretty reasonable time to do it, considering that's when the advent calendars begin. Let's abuse that double jump a bit, but only to save time. swimming around in the, uh, the thing. I guess they're not technically fossils at this point, but you know what I mean. Oh. 
I should just leave one of those guys now, right? So, um, let's see. To Humba Wumba, I guess. Get the transformation stuff out of the way. But first, we need to go and get her um, Globo. <laughs> Whoa, camera. That was unfortunate. I right, salvaged it. Sky lets you in as long as you're not wearing springy step shoes, which he takes great offense to. So we can go back to my home temple from here if we so wish. I do not wish. was locked from the other side. I could open it, but it doesn't really do anything for me. It would be unbecoming of me to leave a switch unpressed though. when I'm a moron and forget something. So let's get the baby T-Rex stuff over and done with. stick to move. This is like Banjo-Kazooie level of transformation where they like never have an attack except for one. It's like the only one that doesn't have an attack. But we can learn one from any old dinosaur. Oh, oh, oh. 
you know what, it's not even quickest to walk. I can just walk over here. Short, short, long, short, long, long. I didn't realize I could have just used the one behind the window, but that's cool. So that's all we needed this guy for. Unless I've horribly forgotten something. Oh, the background noises in the music are awesome here. So with that, we can now get all of Mumbo's stuff over and done with. It's worth pointing out that enlarging the stepping stones here is completely pointless since we have some warps already. But the pad does disappear forever once it's done, so therefore I'm doing it anyway. Mumbo's activities here are a little more substantial than in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, where the, the pad is like pretty much right outside his door. Huh? Just platforms in order to completely disregard said platforms. Now let's enlarge the wigwam and its contents. leaves the dinosaur. Convenient little side path here. Which is good because Mumbo can't actually make it up the other side. It's too steep. like how this beehive and like in general the enemy positions are saved when you leave the area so when I came back in just then it was still walking back to uh, its default position from when it was chasing Banjo. Hmm. 
that also applies to honeycombs and such, which may be lying around on the floor. one dinosaur problem solved, now we just need to call the train to solve the second one, because the dinosaurs are already on there and waiting. And then we can use that while it's here to take the third one to see Mumbo in a different area. Because, you know, one spell pit area and stuff. He couldn't possibly cast heal here while he's there. Nope. Maybe every Mumbo is just a different Mumbo. I'm sure he prefers casting in large anyway. It's probably more fun. That sounds vaguely familiar, actually. I've probably read that before. Right, what was I gonna do now? Let's go and call the train while I'm here. Oh yeah, right, of course. Uh, the Daddy T-Rex. I see what you're driving at there. Although I don't know whose car we're driving. That would make no sense, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Sounds are so convincing. Do you skipping the dialogue doesn't skip this too? Try to skip the dialogue before it even appeared. You can't be stealing jokes I've already made in previous streams. Oh, that's ready for new passengers. We should finish up with T-Rex. Okay, that's a new one. I'll give you that one. That ledge has such an overhang, it's surprisingly difficult to get up. says we just like Banjo in Banjo-Kazooie when he jumps. We are entirely too large to walk. So this won't take long.
be stunned on everything. We may now enter the Google Google cave. So let's go and do the switch and then change back. Um, that was really weird. Fortunately, the timer politely pauses itself while we transform and change areas. Like I was toe barely even stepping into the pool. Lots of different ways to get this Cheeto page down here. You can try and get it with a Clockwork Kazooie, which I'm gonna give one go, but it's quite difficult. You can glide to it, or you can just wait until the pool has been filled from Clark Land, And then just swim up to it, which is the intended solution. Finish up the dinosaur family. It's Tyrannosaurus family. Given that it's quite the involved quest, it's good to get it out the way. Approaching the 90 minute mark for the stream right now. The train's already here because we plan to head like professional, except not really. Interestingly, if you do use the pack whack in the air and then do the double jump out of it, your fall like distance is carried over from the first jump, so it doesn't prevent fall damage or anything like that. 
so it can look quite amusing when you get splattered into the floor, even though you've just stopped all of your momentum right before doing so. This is convenient. It's so random that Mumbo's only purpose on the Isle Packs is to heal this one dinosaur from level 5. Kinkle. The rest of the game is just impossible. Get out the door, please. I'm glad this isn't a speedrun. I already gave Mumbo the Globo here just so that we wouldn't get them mixed up in the later stages. So we can just talk to him and go. Nice and streamlined there. And then the camera broke. thereby undoing all of my hard work to make it as streamlined as possible. Except not really. That's not even slightly what happened. Time to shine, Momo. We do the whole train journey in reverse. Hmm. Have to get head buzzed a few times. On quite a perilously thin path, in fact.
out he runs all the way home. And because the final dinosaur we helped wasn't the one with Mumbo, we get some different dialogue there, and we automatically receive the Jiggy instead of having to go and collect it. Mumbo says he'll pass the Jiggy on to Bear and Bird if he does the last one, but if the last one is one of those two that run home, then Kazooie just complains that she's only getting one Jiggy for such a hard quest. Since we're here, let's do this in preparation for later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got the mumbo dialogue. Cool that we've seen both, although I guess I skipped mine, but you know. guys. You need to come in from the other side, because that's the only exit out of which you world where there are no, uh, no food signs, so it's the only way to get food out of the world without it being taken off you. And that's required to feed these guys, but first we need the claw clan the boots from Gritty Industries. That's about all we can do for these guys, Fenno. Let's see, we're on like 1 hour 37, um, and it's Friday, so probably if I go on for like 3 hours, yes, I would say so, easily. And then my mind immediately goes black and I forget what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. Let's just go in here and grab these. Oh wait, I know what I wanted to do, but we'll get to that in a bit, since I'm already here now. We can activate the warps at the top. Since that's the only place we haven't really been yet, other than inside the mountain. This is a little bit finicky. Or dangerous. Incidentally, Grunty Industries was probably always my favourite and least favourite level at the same time because it's so awesomely complex and intricate. Which accounts for both. Very, very hard to get started, but once you have, it's very fun. Oh crap. No thank you. I can't do everything here, but I can get the warp. These fires really don't give you that much time. Ha 
very spooky. Joe over here by himself yet, so there was no point in doing Kazooie alone first. Given my lack of health here, I'm probably gonna die the first time, but that's cool. I think I have to take damage once, but Kazooie might just be fast enough to make it anyway. I'm too lazy to go over there for the honeycomb, I can tell you that much. This is the one I probably can't make. not have any health so let's go and stock up on that real quick since I can top up my clockwork Kazooie's as well. At least I'm fairly certain Jam Jars restores your health after the first time. Let's find out. Nice. Even though dying means nothing whatsoever. Just more convenient to not have to do it again. And in fact, before that, we can get Champasaur out the way too. Make a quick save state there in case we crash. Hasn't happened yet, but just in case. And without it, we would have a lot of crap to do to get into the middle. I'll press this extremely well camouflaged switch, which I didn't even know existed for the longest time. This is the only level with more than one, like, boss intro theme. Like, here, you've got Chomposaurus, Stomponodon, Terry, and, uh, Dippy also gets introduced with the big text in the screen, although he doesn't have the spooky music. Because he's not very spooky. Over it. 
Not sure how many points I needed, but I clearly had way more than enough. Of course not. Don't be silly now. Indeed, I am halfway through now. I didn't even notice. I was looking on my other screen at the uh, bot information. Okay, so with that out of the way... Let's warp up and continue on towards the top. Seems to be going fairly well so far. Probably shouldn't have said that, but hey. And the music starts to fade. Incidentally, Terry is the only boss whose name appears after the music has already stopped. Everyone else gets introduced before their theme starts. I notice these things because, I don't know, I, I play the game a lot. Text unskippable, Terry. Please. Mm. Well, he seems to be upset, but there's nothing we can do about that. At this moment in time. It's a very nice gift, Terry, but I'd rather have one uh, skippable dialogue of yours, please, and fix. Okay, bye. Now we get like the triple jiggy wombo combo from up here. Two. 
very rare to get them that close together in this game. Now I'll take the far exit and start on Demex. And then once this place is done, we'll go back to the, all the previous places and collect the stuff we couldn't before now that we have these moves. That's a fancy camera. You have to go all the way down to get all the way back up. Because we have no leg spring yet. We're also nearly dead. But we're not worried about that. Much. Or at least we can pretend we're not. That's capable of flying through the mesh. Now, if we're lucky, we can just jump straight down to the second one without needing to worry about finding the other fly pod. Where are we exactly? We should be in about the right place. I can't see, so I'm going to take a leap of faith. I, uh, I pressed A very slightly too late there. I guess we're flying after all. chance I go too far and hit the wall, given the whole health situation. Wouldn't want to unnecessarily waste time. In hindsight, I probably should have left the one at the top of the mountain until last. But that's fine, because we have warps. Let's just go and get the rest. And after that, I suppose, we'll check our totals. Because I can't keep track of literally everything in my head, unfortunately. <laughs> or at least not on the spot. sleep in the middle of a game over there. That's cool. Uh, right, so that just leaves the... Bunga Bunga egg. Which I'm not actually sure I can reach from this side, because he doesn't let you in with those on. And I don't think I can jump high enough here. Nope, I cannot. So we're gonna have to go into the other entrance. That's unfortunate. There's always a catch. I 
I don't know what that guy has against springy step shoes, but hey, maybe he just doesn't like purple or something. So we go down here. Massive wigwam. That was a waste of time. Probably should have just reunited with Banjo and brought him too, because he needs to be here anyway. That would have probably saved a bit of time. Nope. That was unfortunate. The failure has begun. Joe can make the jump. So I guess I'll take the front door. Banjo feels so slow, especially after playing a solo Kazooie for a while. Apparently it was backpacks that made the dinosaurs extinct. this one easier on ourselves. That wasn't very smart. I guess the occasional mistake has to happen. So one minute away from the two hour mark, which has gone by pretty quickly. Check those totals because I think we're done here. 
So the page is the one by Dippy. And then the ninth jiggy is the one from Dippy. What am I missing? Oh, right, and then it's the Oogle Boogles. So, yeah, we're done here. I think there's a swap cloud at the world entry. Let's find out. I am mistaken. Train station it is. Because I'm pretty sure that's the closest one. Just because I want to swap to Kazooie, and before we reunite, I'm going to use the flying pad and attempt to get that last Cheeto page. Because even though it's a bit annoying to get with the fly pad, it's still doable. I would rather get in now so we can get our next Cheeto. While we're doing our next roundup session of all the loose odds and ends. Alright, we have no health. There's a lot of eggs there. I'm not too lazy to wait. Give health, please. I shall do that. Although you might have to remind me on Skype because I am a moron. I don't actually know if the flying is strictly necessary for this one. But I'm gonna fly anyway. Unless things go wrong. Like, if I accidentally hit the ground and have to go all the way back, then screw it, we'll just get it later. But it's totally doable, I just don't want to cheese it. Or, like, repeatedly attempt to cheese it if I fail. Nobody's got time for that. I will save state, though. Solo Kazooie flying is not exactly the easiest thing in very tight spaces without touching the floor. Oh hey, thank you very much indeed. I remember doing something similar for you that one time. I was much appreciated. Now I just have to try and get this frigging page. Let's try first person. Even with the R button to turn sharply. This is annoying. I'm gonna have to fly higher before I screw this up. I can't even see the thing though. I know you're there somewhere. There you are. Nyeh. Haha. That was... Not exactly the most elegant thing I've ever done in this game. But it worked. That just leaves us with two jiggies, neither of which we can collect right now. So let's get out of here and tidy some stuff up. So I said I was going to tidy up the extra stuff, but what extra stuff do we have? We'll start here because we need a honeycomb and then we can go into the mine and get the last jiggy in there. After this, there's only one honeycomb to go, which will require everything in the game. I do indeed. 
This is very helpful. Allow it to finish up the mine. So, next on the agenda is Witchy World, because that's close by. I could save time by doing the Witchy World one at the same time as getting the food for the Oogle Boogles, but screw that. Everything as soon as we can. Even if it takes a little longer. Because it's easier to stay on top of things that way. And yes, I did refuse to use the silo because it was the very next area, even though it was probably still quicker. So first we need to go behind the tent to split up. And unless there's something horribly wrong with my memory, I am pretty sure the dude was in the train station. And I'm also pretty sure I've already given him his bear. way to transport them discreetly. And easiest. No one would ever know. Let's get more dialogue. She bounces around. I don't think further comments are necessary here. That's number 50. Extremely majestic. What more is there to say? <laughs> so there's that done. There's also one we can pick up in the lagoon. Now that we have Hatch, let's go and do that. Yeah. 
Why the hell am I going to hail fire peaks? I blame chat. Uh, I remember a few of my pictures, I don't know which one was the most recent. There was one with Midna eating an ice cream. I had one of Marth. In short, I have no idea. I know my font was size 10 red comic sans. For some reason. Because you realized how much you appreciated the fact that we actually had the choice, unlike, say, Skype, for example. I still have lots of little chat logs from Amazon. Um, let's see. I could briefly try and grab the one in Atlantis, or whatever you want to call it, with the Clockwork Kazooie, but I'll probably just come back with Glide if I don't get it in like 2x, because that's not how you're supposed to get it. Welcome to the stream, this is in fact Banjo-Tooie, the sequel. Let's see, is it even conceivable to reach that from here? because we're going to be a, a, a cheating scum. No, it's too far. That's fine. Figured it was worth a go since we can cheese everything else with them. I'm pretty sure you can't shoot them from the surface. But even if you could, it'd be too low and then I'd have to aim it properly, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go and hatch Heggy's last egg and then get on you cheat. Also open Clark Cuckoo Land. Oh. Gotta get all the pointless stuff out of the way first, in big chunks. I'm probably gonna forget to go to Hege after this, so if I do, someone shout at me. It was, yes. into place. It goes without saying that doing the corners and edges first is a good idea. The real way to tell where the ones on the right go because of the emulator book. And now everything's just kind of white, so we'll just roll with it. It's a bit of an unfair angle. Banjo-Kazooie was a childhood game. I played that one many, many times as well. I believe it was my second ever N64 game after Super Mario 64. I got them both with the console for Christmas.
there's all of the regular stages opened. I actually got Extreme G with it as well, but that's nowhere near close to being as good as the other two. I did a lot better at Super Mario 64 than I did at Banjo-Kazooie back when I first tried them. Banjo-Kazooie, I pretty much hated Clanker's Cabin. And he was also very scary. With Super Mario 64, I was able to make reasonable progress for a while. Okay, let's get this over and done with. And then we never have to come here again. Jinjo as a multiplayer character, which is completely irrelevant to me. Well, let's go and get cheat number three. I never owned any of the N64 Star Fox games, unfortunately. Uh, right, yes. It's a Cheeto. My brain doesn't have enough threads to do all of this at once this late at night. I played the multiplayer quite a lot with one or two friends, yes, it was never really uh, more than two players, but I played the two player quite a few. We didn't really pick out specific games though, like, we used to just do all of the games, because there's like, what, 17? It doesn't really take that long to go through them all. He hated doing Tower of Tragedy against me though. Okie dokie, have fun. You're only gonna miss me entering the foolproof cheat anyway. I have, yes. I went back for that as soon as I got the build drill. I tend to play this game by doing stuff as soon as it's possible, rather than when it's most convenient. That applies to most games, in fact. Which is why I'm going here after each individual cheat, and the same for the honeycombs. I'm going back to the earlier levels after each set of new moves instead of waiting for a few extra levels to be able to do everything at once. It's just easier for me to keep things straight in my brain when I do it that way. And it's OCD friendly. Let's see. Sensitivity is a little bit meh towards the center, but it's bearable.
So the question is, is there anything else extra we can do before we start Grunty Industries? And I don't think there is. Once we have moose from there, we'll be able to feed the Google Googles. Well, that's about it. I think. I just need to get to Grunty Industries. Egg levels are fine. I will do my best, though I am rapidly becoming tired. <laughs> I know the one on the roof is a Minjo, so I'm not gonna bother going up there. Especially because it's orange and we already know we have the orange jiggy. So here we go. Best slash worst level. Already taking some time saving shortcuts. This is the best part of the level right here. That the only way into the factory is to enter with the train. That's so cool. Infiltration from the inside. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do around the back, so we're going to check. I'm just going to go and break in. I pressed the switch, but just didn't really think of it at all. If I'm not mistaken, the train is in Pterodactyl Land, so we'll just go there instead of having to call it again. Since the train station in there is right near the entrance anyway. But yeah, the satisfaction you get from figuring that out is... Well, satisfying. That didn't really go anywhere, did it? Also, I should probably swig some water because I'm dying right now. failing and getting stuck and lost.
There's also the random stop ones, which are the ones with the question marks on them, which are arguably worse. Both of which speed up the further you are in the game, in terms of world number. They'll be fast in the later levels, but slow down again if you go back to an earlier one. Wrong way. I thought the bar was to the other side. There we go. So we've made it to the main lobby. <coughs> Excuse me. for later. It's such a simple thing to overlook. It's amazing. Okay, so that's open now. I'm trying to get in the door, please be quiet. I merely want these notes. quarters out of the way. There's not much to do in there right now. So, let's go outside and grab the first battery. Then we can get the snooze pack. And then slowly and methodically work our way up through the floors while minimizing confusion and peril. Once I have the snooze pack, we may make a quick detour back to Pterodactyl Land, because then I'll be able to finish off the stomping planes and the Eagle Doodles. Yay for pressing the wrong button. Oh, 
like how the backpack is enormous whenever it's carrying something, even if it's just a battery. We can get down here. We can certainly press this. Doesn't really do anything for us yet. There's the full damage thing I mentioned. Came in for a few notes, that's worth it. Accidentally using the wrong moves is one of the main reasons why I have C left and C right and mapped to Y and B and C up and C down on the stick. Half the opportunity to fuck that up. allows your video game characters to jump further. The only other move in here is the leg spring, which doesn't really give us much of an opportunity to collect stuff we've missed so far, so now might be the best time to go and get that stuff over and done with, since we're already here at the entrance. I guess we'll do that now. All we need to do is the stomping planes with Banjo Solo, which is what we needed the snooze pack for and get some food from Witchy World. Which is what the Claw Clamber boots are for. I'm pretty sure that's all we can do right now. After that, we're pretty much stuck in Grunty Industries until it's done. Let's enjoy our last opportunity to get some fresh air. What am I even doing? Okay, yeah, Wasteland. That's the one. That moment when mine equals blank. Like, completely. This is a very convenient warp pad here. Oh. 
I did have work today. I arrived at about 9.50, so I took a half lunch and left at 5.50. Taking a half lunch means I only have to be in the office for eight hours instead of eight and a half. So I'm pretty sure that the stomp always takes you down to one health left if you have more than one, so I don't really need to heal more than one unit. I'm just doing it anyway because I'm dumb or something. Just in case I'm wrong, I suppose. so the banjo can leave. Peaks Jiggy and we haven't even been in there yet. Through the front door, that is. We've already been in there once to get the Mega Globo. What do you reckon we should get burgers or fries? It makes no difference whatsoever, and I've just answered my own question because burgers are closer. So that's what we're gonna do. The dialogue is fantastic. Okay. Well, let's try and get up here in a reasonable amount of time. Which I did flawlessly the first time, but now that I actually need to get up here, watch me fail. This noise is so good. That was truly joyous to listen to. Do you take food? Today? And indeed, hopping around like that was pretty cool. 
Although I kind of avoided it the first time because I figured it was going to be something bigger than it was, if that makes sense. I thought it was going to like take ages to go there and do some stuff, but it wasn't the case. Also trying to word stuff in a spoil-free manner as possible here. Incidentally, I also had a burger today. Certainly better than this ground he's eating. Banjo, of course, can spot teeth marks from a mile away. We can now get on with the industries. We are at 2 hours 40. So maybe I'll stop at around 3 hours. It would then be shortly after midnight. Seems reasonable. I'll have to stop somewhere logical, of course. Otherwise, I'll just be confused when I resume. That scream, though. I don't know if I can get over to the top of this without uh, glide, but I'm gonna go up there anyway and give it one go because we need the treble clef regardless. So let's do that. And you can give me some health just in case we can't make it. Save says it in a while. Let's do that in case bad things happen. Can we make this? We can easily make this. We can just cheese this from here, right? I'm pretty sure. It's a bit low though. I don't know if standing on the banister works. Wait, I just realised I don't have a leg spring yet. I just made a terrible mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's uh, let's do that again. I was like, hey, I'll just go over here and cheese it, and then and then it was like, oh yeah, I don't have a leg spring. I have no way to get back up there. It's learned on floor two of this stage. Oh, 
That sucks for you, doesn't it? So, I can make a brief stop down in the air compound for some notes. But there's not much we can do here yet. No harm in quickly grabbing these, though. Um, let's see. Up to the next floor, I guess. That one on the right only has some eggs up there. We don't really need eggs. At this moment in time. Yeah, I would be terrible at speedrunning this game. I have no idea how to speedrun this. I just know where stuff is and how to get it casually. So we can get a ginger out there now. Let's do this at the room first. move of the level. Very useful Lita once combined with Clyde. Good at pressing the wrong button when getting stuff out of the backpack. Mm. 
I don't think I want to really go in here yet, but let's have a quick look. I can open the door. After that we'll go the other way so we can go up before. It's always handy to have the elevator shaft doors open on each floor. Floor 1 is open by default. Pressing switches is pretty much the only good use for the big barge these days. Now let's get the outdoor Jinjo I mentioned before we forget. We have full proof on now. Oh. I enjoyed this level. At least these days. Hilariously inept. Like my younger self. Hey, it's another blue one. We seem to be getting a lot of the same color in a row on this playthrough. still need to go outside again later for the flying around and also with the washing machine. But we'll save the washing machine till towards the end so we know we can reach all of the workers in one go. Save time. Side now. So glad this level has catchy music. Can you imagine the frustration the first time otherwise. This level is serious business. Okay, so there is another battery over there. That's not for this floor though. through later. The switch is here, right? Yes. Okie dokie, I'll be stopping in like seven minutes anyway. Then it'll then we'll be on the uh, three hour mark on the dot. You won't be missing very much. You're quite welcome. I uh I received a new microphone, a Blue Yeti, from Lillian, so I had to test it out, you know. Why am I going that way? I need Banjo alone to grab that. That makes that landed back on the platform. Anyways, sleep well. Thank you for watching.
I'll be the first to admit the memories of this room are vague because the boxes are just all over the place. All of those boxes, oh pants. We have fire dog logos. Let's go and get the wolf pan. We don't really want Mumbo yet either. Let's go and see where this brings us out. Just to be frank, I have no idea. I think this is how we get to floor 4 actually, so I don't want to be doing this yet. Well, I guess I can activate the warp. This should give us the fly pads though, so... That'll be good for, um... Tidying up the remainder of the outdoor stuff. Nice and early. It's not good for keeping things nice and structured though, otherwise... I haven't heard enough of those alarms already. Nice camera angle. Here's the war. Now we should really go outside and finish all the flying stuff first, I guess. Or we could finish floor three because we've already been there. Let's go to floor three first. That drops me down to... right, yeah, that's where I first came from. So there's plenty of stuff to do over here. It takes me over to the other side. I think we can go around up top from here. Oh, we could fall off. That was awkward. Is that the third blue one in a row? You can't be a Minjo, you're in an enclosed space. Right. Oh, you are. Okay. Never mind. Around the other side, then. That's like the second time I've done that now. Big barging when I'm supposed to be talon trotting. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I even get up? This is probably the first room in the game where I really do just start, like, not knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing. Just not really well. Like that there, I vaguely knew that was there, but I didn't know for sure that it was an empty honeycomb. And that's 
it's the last of the notes, though. Now well, we need to go into the boiler plant because that's where we'll open the elevator shaft. After that, we'll finish up outside because there's a lot of little bits and bobs to be done out there, like getting into the windows to unscrew the stuff. The stuff, yeah, that. And, uh, there's like a page or two. No real point in going over there right now. Although I do need to come in here with Banjo. Because I'll need to bring the battery here. This is also quite important to be done. Again, Mumbo only has one thing to do, but it's quite involved. Actually, that's not true, he has two things to do. Both involve timers, though. So we do have to switch to him at least twice. Whoops. Using the bill drill on screws is a really cool idea, I think. get that battery in here. While also remembering that the one we still need is on floor 2. In the corner. But this one's closer, so we'll grab this one for now. After missing it once, of course. down and then using the elevator shaft, which is entirely possible now. Let's do things properly. Because it makes us feel better about ourselves. Almost switched to Kazooie then before putting the battery in the thing. We're definitely not doing this as Banjo, screw that. Fortunately, this jump is extremely good. Kazooie makes very short work of navigating this room. doing the outside stuff, that's probably a good place to stop, so we know we just have floors 4 and 5 to go, along with the transformation and limbo stuff. Game rules are available. No. Yep. Let's grab the turbo trainers, before we regret not grabbing the turbo trainers. Then let's go ahead and miss all the twinklies. carry too many at once, you will get very slow. Also, this room looks so awesome with all the different colored lighting. It's like the jiggy lighting, but in three different colors. Let's deposit this. This is 
so impressive for N64. slightly easier with Kazooie alone, although it's hard to, um, a little bit harder to actually touch them because you're so fast. No, I don't want to play again. Why does everyone ask you that? Very Christmassy indeed. It is fitting, much like those in Freeze Easy Peak. Which are also Twinkies. So, that's floor 3 done. There's still a battery on floor 2, but we don't really care about that right now. So now we're gonna teleport outside and use the flying pad and finish up all that stuff. That way we haven't got a load of different things going on at once. screws one of those things up. And then he didn't even bother giving me any honey. Okay, let's see what we can do with these. There's one's right there. what floor it's on, since most of these can be seen from the other side of the panels. Right, let's have a look, because I cannot remember off the top of my head where the windows are or how many there are, so we're just going to go and look. Like a scrub. Or indeed like someone who hasn't played the game before. There's just one over here, and then that should be the one that contains the thing to unscrew the platform for the rabbit. Yeah, just that one. And then, of course, there's the roof. Transitions always take a while. So now Mumbo can reach his Mumbo pad and the washing machine can reach that guy. I think that's it for all of the dropping platform things. Don't think there's anything else in there. I'm too lazy to rotate the camera, so we'll just hope I'm right. And now we go to the roof. Plenty of red feathers. That's a honeycomb. I think that's all of them. also good. <laughs> I 
into the chimney. All the way down to floor three, which means there's no easy way out. Okay, we finished the family. Cool. Let's take the elevator shaft this time for fun. And that fall was only from halfway up. And his scream almost finished playing completely. Elevator shaft is the tallest, like, drop in the entire game, I'm pretty sure. Except for maybe falling from the top of Cloud Cuckoo Land. I'm not sure that counts though. I did not mean to go outside. Like how Kazooie is the character for on the roof because like, you know, bird and roofs are high and stuff. Very smart. So what else can we do up here? There's like two windows. That was unfortunate. Though I have to say I was pretty sure you could grab the edge here. I guess you can't. So which side is this? It's the side of cheese. Well, it's not really cheesing because I could have just come in here with Kazooie by herself. Oh, there is one more thing. I totally forgot about this. Oh right, that's just a shortcut back up. That doesn't really do much for us. Probably why I couldn't remember it, because it's not very important. The sky is very nice, I agree. Okay, so the ginger is on the other side along with the crying rabbit. We can get the ginger, but not from here. So out we go. Going straight off the roof. Sure, there's no windows here. I'm pretty sure there's not. Nope. Two morph, please. Hello and welcome. So there's that Jinjo. Pretty sure that's real. Given that it's got nowhere to move, it would be pretty pointless if it wasn't. It's quite a pathetic joke. And that's all we need from here, for now. That marks the end of our outdoor adventures, so... Next up is 4-4. Even though I said I was going to stop, like, a long time ago. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Although I am extremely close to ending the stream, I think. But I can go on a bit longer. It's Friday and stuff. So, what do I want to do now? I think 
I should do the crushes with Mumbo and then take the last battery over there. And then we do have everything we need to also reveal the boss, but uh, then we'd have to like swap to the washing machine and stuff. And ain't nobody got time for that. So we'll do the crusher thing first. And then the rest can all be done in one go later on. This level's probably got the most for any transformation to do out of them all. Because you've got all the dirty workers and then you've got everything that the service elevator leads to. And the boil plant and the quality control and that stuff. Not the boil plant. The, the other stuff whose names I've just forgotten, embarrassingly. These warp pads are very convenient though. Even when you accidentally select the wrong one. Okay. There we go. Time for some emp. That's totally how it's pronounced. Anyone who's intricately familiar, or intimately familiar with uh, this level will know what's coming up on the other side of these crushes, and we're not looking forward to it one bit. Pleasant sound effect. Pretty sure that just leads back to the entrance of the room, so we're not going to bother with that. Oh, hey, I need some help. Nobody cares about the tin tops. That's just for Kazooie alone. was here. But no, this is the actual thing. So that's where that last battery goes. There's the elevator shaft. Open that up. See what else is up here. Oh boy. This sure is a finale for the stream. Especially with these dodgy controls. I'll give it one go. I am far too tired to be doing this right now. That is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But here we go. You would think, given that this layout is based entirely off Complex from Goldeneye and Perfect Dark, I would know what I'm doing. But that's really not the case. Also, yeah, having having the right stick be mapped like this is pretty terrible. Let's try and not get completely lost. Just going up here convenience me in any way. Is that one. Right. 
I came from that one, so let's go this way. And let's get distracted by the bot output. And let's spend ages trying to aim manually. Okie dokie, see you later and take care. I'll probably be stopping right after Clinker's Cavern, or during Clinker's Cavern, if I perform disastrously. Pretty sure I pressed B there and it was like, nope. I remembered that one. We still have half of our time left. concentration silence or whatever. There's only two left. We have like a long time to find these. I would be upset if I didn't have enough time for that. Okay, there's one left and we have like a minute 20. The question is, where haven't I been? Obviously the last one is always hardest. Wait, did I hear it then? No, I did not. We have a minute to find one, how hard can it be? Just need the slightest indication of a sound effect. Maybe it's this way. Oh, this is that bit. Uh, top or bottom floor? I hate this place. I know it wasn't the other side there, because I went there. What's up here? There it is. It was fairly close, but we did still have like a good minute left if we'd have taken our oxygen into account as well. Glad that went that well. Wait, was that sentence even English? That went the with, with well. Now then, how do we get out? This is the place where you can climb up on the left in perfect dark. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. That's not the exit. The exit's over here. This is it. Hooray. Let's get some eggs back. battery down here. Which was on floor two. I'm not sure I ever realized that box had a beehive in it. I thought it just had like three honeycombs in it because it's rare to hit them separately. Kazooie can stay here while Banjo goes off on his adventure. Why did I switch to Kazooie? So we need floor two. Convenient. 
than just going this way. batteries on the ground. Why did I even bother going all the way around? I guess that's fine, I'll just grab some eggs. And here we are, that should be the last battery. So as soon as I chuck this in the door, we're going to call it a day, I think. It's been like three and a half hours, and I'm dead. Although before I stop streaming, I do want to test the bots up time command, because I've added some debugging info to that to figure out what was wrong with it last time. so slow. Right on the three and a half hour mark. Nice and OCD friendly there. Uh -huh. Okie dokie. Let's see where we stand. I really should get one more jiggy so we finish on a nice round 60, but honestly, screw that. Because the one inside here is probably going to take a good 10 minutes or so. So there's the totals we're finishing on right now. Two more streams is probably all it's going to take. Maybe three, given that the last couple of levels are really awkward. But anyway, we've got a couple of new followers today. Thanks to everyone who did follow. Thanks to everyone who's been watching. It's been fun. Uh, before we end off... <laughs> Let's put the old BRB screen on. And let's give this a try so I can figure out what the problem is without having to stream. It does help if we spell it right. Awkwardly reaching around the microphone. I see. Okie dokie. Thanks, Clivey, but see you next time. Bye bye.